Hey guys, just so you know, getting over a cold right now and I'm at the stage in my sickness where things will just leak from my face whenever they want to. For today's video, I'm talking about the new dip brow gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So this is 23 Canadian dollars or 18 US dollars and you get 4.4 grams or 0.155 ounces of product. The three decimal places, they are getting accurate. So it comes in 11 shades. I got the shade medium brown. That's the one that I use in the Brow Wiz and in the original Dip Brow Pomade. So basically this is advertised as a very highly pigmented brow gel and it's very long lasting. It lasts up to 12 hours, they say. This can be applied to your skin as well as your hairs. I don't really apply it to my skin. I just use it on my hairs that's not that talented. <laughs> the packaging is pretty. I like anything just simple and classic like this. I like the gold and it's nice that you can see the shade through the tube. And I would say it applies pretty true to what you see in the tube. Like, I think it's a pretty good match. And then on the inside, you have this wand here, which is a little bit bigger than what I'm used to. I'm used to the Essence Make Me Brow and that wand is like half the size of the ABH one. So it was a little bit of a learning curve, especially if you have little eyebrows like I do. And the formula is fairly wet, but it goes on nicely. It sticks to your hairs nicely, so it's not really messy. Um, like the formula itself isn't messy. It looks really creamy. It looks just like melted chocolate. That's what I think of every time I open it. I think of melted chocolate. I am wearing it right now. I can only say so much of this without showing you. So I'm just gonna show you the application process. So I'll show you just the brow gel on its own with no pencil or anything. It does a lot to emphasize the hairs and it gives a nice color. It makes them look a lot darker and it makes them stand out more when they have the gel on. It also makes my brows look more full just with having the gel. And then once it's on, it's on. It keeps my hairs in place, which is awesome. So here's one eyebrow with one coat. You can see it just looks more, the hairs look more defined and emphasized. And then there's both eyebrows with just one coat each. And then I also built it up, which it does build up pretty nicely, but you don't really need to build it up. Like I find one coat is pretty much enough for me. You can if you want to, but it doesn't make a huge difference. Now I'm going to show you my preferred method of using the brow gel. So first I take my pencil. I'm actually using the Benefit uh, Precisely My Brow Pencil. This one is in the shade 4 if you're curious. I like this pencil and I also like the ABH pencil, the Brow Wiz, in the same shade, medium brown. And what I find with wearing the gel on its own, like my hairs look great themselves, but I am not blessed with full brows like I need to shape my brows a little bit which I don't really find myself being able to do with just the gel which understandable it's just a gel maybe if I used like a pencil brush or something I could do that but I just can't be bothered I like my pencil so yeah on its own it makes my hairs look good the hairs that they have in the places that they are but I just like to shape my brows a little bit more if you're someone that is blessed with full, beautifully shaped brows, then you could totally use the gel on its own and I am jealous of you and I hate you. But yeah, my brows are just kind of lacking the shape that I like and I got some bald spots and you know, so I do like to use my pencil. So what I do is I take my pencil and I just do a line on the bottom edge of my brow where I want the shape to be. Just like one single line, that's all I do. And then I go in and I take my gel and just fill in the rest, brush my hairs up and it makes them look full and my hairs look good and they stay in place and it actually cuts my brow time like in half it's way easier to just do my one line and then go in with the gel and fill everything out with just the gel it's so easy Before what I would do is I would shape my brows and then I would fill them in 
and then go in with the gel, but you really don't have to with this uh, this ABH gel. It's awesome. Doing it this way though gives me a not so polished brow look though, like which I prefer, but not everyone will prefer. So just kind of tweak your methods to how you like it. Maybe you outline your entire brow and then use the gel to fill in the middle or I don't know. But definitely when using the gel, I spend way less time filling it in and it's just such a quick process and I kind of love it. So pros and cons of this little bad boy here. The color is great. I love the cool toned brown. I find that kind of hard to find and especially I guess drugstore options, more the drugstore browns are more warm, but I love a cool toned brow. So, and they have lots of options. There's 11 shades total. So hopefully you can find what matches you. It emphasizes my hairs and it makes it look more full, which I love. And this is truly long wearing. Like when I use just my brow pencil and my Essence Make Me Brow, I can take off my brow with just a wet washcloth. With this, I cannot. Maybe like using a microfiber cloth would take it off a little bit better, but you still gotta scrub. It does come off with a makeup remover though. Like it's not stuck there forever. It's just not gonna come off with just kind of water. I also love that it just speeds up my entire brow process. I can spend quite a long time on my brows before I started using this. And this, you just literally draw a line, fill it in, love it. And then for cons, I just wrote brush slightly large, <laughs> which is a con, but it's like I figured out how to use it. But the first time I kind of wish I taped it because the first time I used this and I just used it as I normally would with my Essence one, it was a disaster. Not a disaster, it just looked really messy because this formula really, really sticks to your hairs. And so I was going in and then it was sticking to like my peach fuzz hairs that are just on my skin, you know? So it looked like I had just brow hairs going up so high, not so high, but my brow hairs, there was just like, my brow and then all the tiny hairs around my brow had like formula on them and I was like, oh, that's truly the only bad thing I can think about this product. I really didn't think I would love it so much, but why I do love it so much is because it just is so quick and easy to use and it looks good. Cause you can have quick and easy and it can look like butts. It makes it look like I spent a while on my brows without actually having to do that. So overall a win for me. Okay, um, yeah, that's all I have. Let me know if you are gonna try out this product. I am pleasantly surprised. I thought it would just be like another brow product. Like I don't get too excited about brow things unless it makes it easier to do my brows and they still look good. Yeah, that's all I have for today's video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye.